uh, to, to set up shop to hide under the platform. So not quite as black and white as we get into game one, starting off on PS2? PS2 yes. for sure. PS2 it's... for sure, right? I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah great Everybody. call. It's, it, I mean, if I just called it 10 games, I'd probably get it seven. It's just, yeah. <laughs> this is always the stage. Oh, oh, fancy movement, but I don't know how fancy you need to be on Mario at these low percents. If a combo whiffs and his body's still close to you, he can just press, literally flick the C-stick and probably hit you right afterwards. So definitely watch yourself, but wow, I mean, the same could be said for Stronghold. Please watch the boots on that back here. Back here last a considerable amount of time for just being his legs. I mean, usually we see hitboxes like that from like, Links up there, you know, it just kind of lasts forever. But snakes' legs, I, I don't know, different, I guess. Yeah. Let's see, ninety to one hundred two here. A little bit of back and forth, trying to run in with that grenade, get that grab. Such a sneaky trick. Shielding the entire flood does not want to be off stage. That could be in a very bad spot. Gets caught reaching with that forward smash, trying to grab stronghold. Excellent forward smash there. It's an up tilt, but it's not quite enough to KO just yet. Oh my god, yeah, you got it. Oh my goodness, yes. Be sure to stretch before you reach right here. Great stuff from a stronghold to close it and keep it close. I mean, it, you know, we talk about milking stocks a lot right here, but I mean, Mario is, is just one of the front runners now. Mario knows how to get a stock and then, of course, just fireball you to death. Make it very hard for you to come in. Great, great Nikita. Here's the shop. It's set up. We're open for business. Great pressure from up underneath and the grenade gameplay from all the snakes this evening. I guess this what well, it feels like this evening. Actually, I don't know what time it is anymore because of daylight savings. But today, <laughs> this moment with you on the mic, Coney, the yeah. grenade gameplay has been very great. Yeah, I, it feels like the explosions have been really on point, particularly the C4s all day today from uh, both the snakes players that we've seen. Trying to get that grab, not going to happen. Excellent pair. Okay, it works, I guess. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a misinput there, I think, but it doesn't matter. Hits the C4, not quite enough. The Nikita is out. Going to land on both of them, and it feels like Stronghold is just trying to ca collect every single explosion on the stage <laughs> at once, uh, trying to jump into all of them. Yeah, the, the goal is to block with your shield, unfortunately not your face, but, yeah. you know, I guess there is a method to the madness. Maybe he wants a little raid. I don't know what the case may be, but great stuff. Landing through the platform and Ooh. then somehow off the mark with that up tilt. A very rare miss from just a snake in general. I mean, usually when you toss that move out by the opponent, it lands. Yeah. I love the smoothness, too, of the uh, Mario there. Stronghold just just very delicately playing around Allen, unfortunately landing into that up tilt right now 128 trying to find his way through this minefield just explosions everywhere 20 percent was able to avoid most of it but up smashes the grenade to 30 and now Allen is firmly in control this is what i talked about before we started the set where it feels like mario has to play a different game now because you have to find a way to take this stock without getting on a lot of percent and mario is so stubby that getting through this just absolute obstacle course can be very scary yeah and you know people might feel like oh man mario doesn't have a lot of weaknesses man the whole like he's too short thing to get in on long characters isn't true no if somebody knows how to play a character longer than mario they know how to space even if the character is not as long as mario We've seen what DK can do to Mario back in Smash 4. We've seen what Rosalina yeah. can do most notably. I mean, here we got the Snake as well. Projectiles or not, Snake just has to reach advantage. And if you reach on Snake, he will teach. So you need to certainly watch yourself. There's the down throw. My goodness, I'm seeing oh. shades of brawl right here. Yeah, he pushed him into the up smash. I thought he was going to C4, but the up smash was landing perfectly. Gets the back throw, but even that can't connect because of the grenade. Gets the jab. Well done. Where's the recovery? We're going to go low. Oh, no, he set up the grenade to go high. That's so sneaky. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my goodness. Okay, can't get out of the corner, man. The Mario legs are always there to cover you. I love the pressure, despite, you know, the deficit here. Still keeping it up. Oh, great footwork. Was probably looking for a pivot grab, but Snake's F tilt just a little quicker on the draw. Yep. And there we go. Allen finishing it up with almost a JV2 stock and God damn, that's just explosions all over the stage. It felt like Stronghold, like, I, I, how do you get through it, right? It feels like Mario is just in his own personal war. And how do you get through all that stuff? And if you're if you're resident sleepering the snake on that one, come on. What more do you want to see? Like, that, that's exciting snake gameplay. Come on, look at that. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like Snake at that point, you're just a snake hater, okay? Like, he did everything he was supposed to do and then some. It almost felt like he was putting on maybe... A little bit of a show for the stream right now because yeah. we have a considerable amount of viewers in here. A big shout out to everybody who's tuning in right now to the Smash World Tour. Both of these two players definitely throwing it down right here, but it is uh, Alan who was able 
to close that out. But it was still close, though. I will give Stronghold that. I think the gameplay that he might have had in the beginning, like you said, Coney, was like, got to watch my combos, got to do this, got to do that. But it did yeah. see some adaptation on the fly. So if he can apply that to this next game, he might be able to put himself a point on the board. Yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Allen against Stronghold. Allen dis, forgive me. Next one is coming up. It might be PS2 again because the bottom part, uh, yeah, we're going back to PS2. Uh, I think that's fine. I feel like it's just, I think you need a game if you're playing somebody like Mario uh, for your mental to sort of reset and to say, okay, I know what I did there. I held forward too much. I was constantly trying to fight. It's a little bit too aggressive. And you saw Stronghold burst out with that 53% combo just to start. Very well done. Uh, had the right strings. Everything came together. But now, like, it's it's not difficult to get that one early percent grab combo on a snake. The problem is this mid-range percent because you got to keep getting it. And that's hard. Yes. Very difficult. I mean, even right now, I mean, just being of that, I mean, it's, it's almost like a struggle because, like, you want to be close, but then you also don't want to be too close. And you, oh, mm. my God, and you'll never really figure it out until you start getting hit, as you can see right there. There's the back air. Looks like he was recovering in the wrong direction. I mean, I, well, I guess at that point, you really just have to recover in general because, you know, you just got to come back to the ledge. But great situational awareness right there. Let's see how this one's going to play out right now for Stronghold. Has a slight lead. I'd like to see him hold on to it. Oh, I love the cross up there. I think he tried to uh, turn around and jab. I, oh my god, I love what Stronghold is doing with that cross up on the jab uh, and, and getting around him. And I think he tried to set it up there as well. Well, he got the he sticky. Has the C4, yeah, he's got the C4 on his chest, though. A little boutonniere for the wedding suit. And it didn't quite get the KO, but did a lot of damage. Yeah, and now I think is... Uh, oh, wow, that's different. <laughs> I think now is when you can take trades, though. Now is when you can kind of hit with your face because yeah, you might be hitting grenades, but who cares? You're gonna die anyway, right? So now might be the time to go a little crazy. Nice, yep, that's gonna be a free KO. Yeah, well, you know what? Mario's pretty good at hitting with his face. Just, we just gotta see it at the right time. You know, he did a lot of up smashing in the last game and I love it, you know, it's a good message sender. You know, it just lets the opponent know, like even if they aren't really like jump heavy, you know, it just lets them know that you're not gonna be able to just jump around me, period. So. I'd like to see a little bit more here, especially now with the lead. You know, now you kind of have to force Snake to come to you. Snake, one of the best characters in the business when he has the lead. When he doesn't have the lead, though, it's a slightly different story here. Yeah, and you're going to see that here, I think. If uh, Stronghold plays this correctly, he doesn't have to go in. Um, Snake really can struggle if you're put in a position where you can't just set up the exploding box. You have to go in and try to find your way in on the opponent. And I feel like Stronghold doing a good job of that every time. Alan tries to do something. He tried to throw out a grenade there. Got hit. No! What? Oh. That shouldn't have happened! What? Uh, uh, Tony, what? I don't... Mario looked confused, too. Mario's looking at the camera. I don't get it, either. That was just... All right, well, maybe a little bit of uh, the when the DI is sus. I don't know. That's, that's a little surprising. Uh, doesn't matter, though. 1-1 one, one for both of these two. Uh, yeah, that was all Stronghold. Just kind of ran him over. Wow, that, uh, that DI is definitely under investigation. Might have to hit the interrogation room on that. Yeah. Because that was, was uh, Ooh. wow. That was a head scratch. Maybe that's just the wedding day power up. I don't know. I've never been married before, but maybe Mario's just working with some different energy here today. Yeah. Great stuff right there. And also, this means that we're going to have ourselves a set. Don't want to see another 3 0. I want to see people win, but I want to see more games. So I'm happy just yeah. because of that. Yeah, it's an exciting set. This is a really fun set to watch. I mean, Mario Gets Snake is, is one of the most. Um, it, it, they are such archetypal characters. Um, and they fulfill such distinct roles in the game that seeing characters like these, it's like Pichu against Snake. You know what I mean? It's like they, they have such different win conditions and roles to play that it's really fun seeing them interact in a way like this. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to something like uh, Rob and Ridley, who sort of accomplish the same things. It's fun to watch for a different reason because they're just trying to do the same things, but one character is just better than the other. These guys are trying to do very different things. Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, with the projectile gameplay, with the wall that's being set up here right now, it's like you know what Mario wants to do. It almost feels like a game of Tom and Jerry. Like, he just, you know what yeah. he wants. He just has to figure out a way to get his hands on him. And I guess with by that logic, you know, Alan, this would definitely be Jerry right here. And I mean, the traps were ever <laughs> so real. I mean, good Lord. I mean, just not allowing himself to be touched. Great F smash. Even better place. Grenade, don't touch me. Here's the back throw. 
Let's see what the cover is. Trying to go low. Gonna get the stage. Expecting a get up. He does the, the, uh, the dash attack. Strong Hulk running right face first in that Nikita. That was tough. Tried to get around it, but not quite enough. Oh, wow. I think he tried to trump back air, but the grenade spoiling that. Okay. Oh, lands with the nair. Wow. I mean, just... Coney, I gotta say, man, just tried and true Mario stuff that we're just so used to seeing land. Like, you just don't get to see it here versus Snake. It, because Snake no. is being played the way he's supposed with, like, grenades and just knowing when to be reversed, just knowing when to evade out of harm's way. So it's such a strange concept to see Mario's have to kind of, I don't want to say think, because I don't want to be disrespectful, but they almost have to no. be a little bit more clear and concise with their combos. No, you're right. I think I think it's very easy for Mario players to autopilot against a lot of characters. And that's not to be rude. All characters autopilot. Uh, but I think Mario has a very distinct autopilot. But I think you it, this matchup is one that really makes you activate your frontal loop. Like, you can't just do that. And I think Stronghold is doing an excellent job of playing the matchup, but it is a difficult matchup. Both these guys are having to uh, having to maneuver around each other. Um, but I, I do think you're right in that it, it really... And sort of by the same token, Snake can't autopilot either. Because if the Mario player is good, he's going to come at you from different angles. He's going to force you to try to go for certain things and then punish it. Um, both these players are very talented. Yeah, straight up. I think there is a, definitely a, a large part of like improv when it comes to Mario's combos. You know, you never see the same one too many times in a row. Or if not the same way, you never see it set up the same way. Like I've seen combos set up from down throw at this angle as you see a couple up throws oh, see see there. from fireball good lord jesus yeah you saw that grab right like you mm -hmm. saw the way that he sort of forced the reaction and then he uh went in and grabbed him that is something that an autopilot mario wouldn't do he'd just keep trying to extend the combo he would overextend he would get hit for it you saw him do the the turnaround dash just so smart from stronghold and that's exactly the sort of matchup knowledge that we're talking about yeah this is like I mean, when we think of, like, the mindset that you have to have to fight against both of these two players, two characters at this level, they're certainly both, you know, going with it. I mean, because we've seen lesser snakes get absolutely obliterated by Mario. Snake is like, yeah. I know I got strong normals, but Mario's a little quicker. Got to respect them on the opposite end, though, too. I'm seeing great snake management here from Stronghold, not allowing him to get too much. Great reflect on the cape. I mean, sir, that's yours. I don't want to play hot potato. It belongs to you. 118. This is going to be a struggle. Uh, Snake is heavy. You got to get in, get these combos, and I don't think the up B string is going to work again. I, I feel like Alandis is probably going to be on guard for that. You're going to see the down air, but because the rage is going to go a little bit too high, Alan going to do what he can to try to set up shop. Air dodges to the center. Oh, dear. Okay, oh, yeah, we're getting down. We're forcing our way down. Wow, burst through the forward smash. He's got to be so careful. Nice grab by Alan trying to get through it's so wild to see people like you know when you get down throw by uh by mario your first instinct is to like roll away air dodge away try to get away yeah. but he's just landing in place and just holding grenade like imagine the mindset you have to be to not be afraid of something mario can toss out after down throw because after down it's like diddy's down to it's party time dude yeah i i gotta be honest i think alan is kind of afraid now i'm watching him sort of mash these buttons he he did a triple up tilt mash he's been trying to force this issue i think he sees the lead going away from him yeah stronghold getting a down throw not a forward throw wants to keep him close now he's in a bad spot he's trying to roll through he needs to get around these grenades but alan just setting up the huge grenade i you know that wasn't on purpose but he's able to react in time with the very last hitbox of that back air, and that'll do it from Stronghold. That was, oh man, Alan just, I, you know, mistakes into miracles. A big mistake on the grenade leads to a big win. Wow. Yeah, turning a uh, potentially bad scenario into a very good one very quickly as well. Uh, yeah. I definitely feel like Stronghold was, I mean, certainly living up to the name and definitely getting a hold on that match on how it was supposed to go. The down throw was a little questionable, but I understand. Probably didn't yeah. want to result in like, okay, like Snake's off stage. Now he has to cipher back. I don't really want to have to go too high or have to overextend off stage to try to punish him off a of cipher. Let me just see if I can try to mix him up on this platform as he's trying to land. But back yeah. here, like I mentioned a couple snake matches ago, that move just lasts so long. I don't get it. They're just legs. It's not a, <laughs> I mean, really, I don't understand the sword thing either, but I would much understand better if like sword lasted forever. You know, it's a little bit harder to work around than just some legs, but whatever. Didn't design the game. Great stuff right there got ourselves a set let's go ahead and get into the next game yeah yeah I, I think mario definitely tried to force the issue a little bit there stronghold trying to land that back air i think he saw an opening right he he saw snake in the air 
He said he got hit by the grenade. He'll probably scramble a bit. Uh, but it didn't happen. And now we're back. We're on a uh, small battlefield. Not PS2 this time. A little bit smaller, but not by too much. Same, same basic layout. And now uh, Stronghold trying out a different strategy. Opening up these fireballs. Doing 25, but also taking about 70 in response. Yeah, and the bleeding's not stopping here. Oh my god. Narrowly gets back to ledge. Nikita certainly on the mark there. There's a down smash, and I love the setup at the ledge. C4 behind him, grenades in front of him. You're probably going to roll because you don't want to be in Snake's hands at that at that reach. So, very wise of you to get out of harm's way. And and one thing that we really haven't discussed, but maybe we should, is that you gotta remember the mental endurance portion of this set because just like we're talking how it's difficult for Mario to really get through Snake's wall over and over. In a best of five set, it takes more and more time. You have to do it over and over, and eventually your your creative juices and your your just competitive drive can sort of run out if you're not careful. Uh, Stronghold has to keep finding new and inventive ways of getting in. Meanwhile, I feel like uh, Alan just, like, Snake can kind of just play Snake's game against Mario. Like, the, the setup and the bombs and the grenades, it's mostly the same things against a lot of characters. What changes is once you get hit and what the combo routes are. But the normal game plan, the autopiloting is the same. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, I, I think I think it could be tougher for Stronghold over time to keep getting in against Alandus, who just has to keep keeping the wall and the bomb. Yeah, because it doesn't really seem like Alandus has been shook up too much here in this match. I mean, there was one point where I think Stronghold got a little cape happy. You know, he was caping like Nikita, grenades, and like um, um, up smash back at him. So of course, just by that logic, you're gonna have to be a little bit more, you know, creative when it comes to tossing out the projectiles. But for the yep. most part, you know, he's been pretty much in control of where this match goes. And for good reason, I mean, Grenade is such a difficult thing to work around. And with a character like Mario, I mean, you get so much off of just throwing your body into the opponent. I mean, imagine every time you threw out back air, you were met with the grenade. Like, sure, he's taking percent too. But I mean, up tilt, you know, with how, it's just, there's just not a lot of commitment on up tilt at high percent versus right. you know, what you would probably need from Mario. Big forward tilt there, Stronghold gonna survive, wants to watch Nikita, he's gonna up the early, he gets away. I like the holding of the jab from Alan Dis, but Stronghold getting around it. He's gotta watch these grenades. He doesn't want to trade anymore either. Yeah, the C4 is there too. This is so scary. He's gonna try to get around it, gets a soft neutral air, but that's not gonna kill, certainly not. Turns him around on that, there's the jab. What's the offstage talking play? about just talking about just checking temperature right there. I mean, just to jab Mar when his back is to you at that reach, I mean, you know what's coming out. I mean, I guess it's just a matter of working around it, but wasn't able to quite work around that up smash there. Stronghold with a lead here. Not much of a lead at 160%. You know what Snake can do once you reach that 160 mark, but I mean, honestly, he can do a lot. Oh my oh. God, a lot of things. Try to hit him with the around the world. No, sir. I love the early up B there. Getting all the way through the Nikita and getting a little bit of free damage. Just super well done by Stronghold. Oh, tries to go low on the up air. And now Alan just needs to take this stock. Might need to get a little bit too... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, he might need to get a little creative on this, but he doesn't have to. He lands the grab, and that's a free up tilt for sure. Mm. Now 54 to 0. Yes, and it's, uh, the bleeding here is... I mean, we're going to need a bigger Band-Aid for this, man. This is uh, <laughs> definitely starting to go more in his favor. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, you toss out those legs a couple times, and you can cut a lead in half. But for how much longer here, you're not on your feet. Oh, my God. And you see, this is what I was worried about in the last game. Just... You gotta respect sometimes uh, Snake on the Cypher. And some of these later percents, oh my, why would you up smash that? I think he's, yeah, he's he's throwing it out a little bit too much. Maybe expecting Alan just to go for the burst dash attack. He's been doing that a lot. Maybe trying to counter it. Uh, maybe trying to catch a roll, something like that. But Alan is not giving it to him now when it counts. 146 goes for the down air, not gonna happen. And Stronghold can't let this get away from him. Finally landing the up smash, forcing game five. Got around it for the last time. You saw Alan just sort of forcing the issue a little bit too much with that falling from the platform. I think he could have just reset on the left side, could have created space. It would have given up a lot of stage um, because you're you're giving Mario center. But even still, him falling to the right, well done by Stronghold. Five games in. Let's see what the stage is and see how these players adapt to each other. This has been a highly competitive set. Most certainly, you know, I asked for more games and the Smash guys were like, say less, fam, we got you. <laughs> so this is awesome here. I mean, uh, you know, friends who are in the chat who might not know the like most of anything about, you know, competitive alternate or maybe who play casually, who and they might not know how these two characters interact with each other. I mean, you're watching.
I mean, I don't know who does Smash Science on YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers, but you're watching how these two characters are supposed to operate around each other. Snake is doing exactly what Snake is supposed to do, keeping Mario out. And of course, Mario's doing exactly what he's supposed to do when he gets in, you know, comboing safely. You know, maybe that that one extra up air isn't quite needed because I know grenade's gonna come out, or maybe I need to be a little bit more delayed with my aerial options. Maybe I can't just jump in and air right away because I know grenade's gonna be there. Maybe I gotta wait. So you're watching science like right here in front of your face. This is awesome. 29 to 37. Gonna wait on the platform holding that grenade. Oh wow, with that fireball going right over him, crouching. Stronghold gonna try to force his way in. Oh, doesn't hit the grenade on that jab. Kind of surprising. Yeah, five percent difference. Kind of just grabbed it for himself there this time. And yes, yeah, see, yeah. oh my, oh my God, the red stuff, but no stock taken there. I would hate to see a repeat of the last one. Great uh, back, bro. I don't know how he got behind him so quick. But Me neither. Fast, I was thinking uh, that too. I was like, how do you cross him up? How do you yeah. cross him up? Mad quick on that. Ooh, goes for the spot that's not gonna happen. I think he has a sticky on him. Uh, he blew it up. Oh, did he? He did for a little bit, yeah, yeah, and and then it uh, switched over, but it's it's free damage, 112 to 106. Controller there, two percent difference. It really comes down to who gets this first stock, because I feel like either of them can really run away with a stock lead. Okay. Ooh. Both filling each other out. Nikita just kind of checking temperature from the other side of the screen. I, I like it a lot. <gasps> I love that down air to force him into a situation. He air dodged down. That's the play. 143. Yeah. Sort of forcing the issue with that down air from Allen. Just expecting him to jump up. I like the idea, but Stronghold just waited it out. Sort of swung his head back. Doesn't take the punch. Avoids the grenade. Now we're forced in shield here. Okay. Great pressure here. Yeah, and I'm starting to see more up tilts come out. He's really struggling to get this stock taken. We only really ever see up tilt as well, too, like when the percents get high. So a bit of a telegraph type of play style. I mean, sure, it is a KO option, but I, I would hate to see it used so many times in a row. I mean, it's such a great option in Snake's, uh, the Snake's toolkit. I mean, I guess it's a great option amongst many other great options, but, you know, just less of a setup with up tilt. It's just, yeah, I just walked right up. You thought you could hit me. Boom, here's a yep. boot. One. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna have to air dodge. Doesn't cover. Does get the up smash, but not enough to KO. Hey, two C4. C4s in a row. Sheesh. Yeah, he's 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 sort of swinging blindly. Oh, gets hit by the cipher. And and this is the other side. Oh wow! And the grenade screwed up the up tilt. Doesn't matter. Doesn't take you much more percent. But this is the other side of the matchup that we talked about a little bit where. Yeah, Mario is stubby. He has to get in on Snake, but now he's an entire stock up. And this little man has just burst through your wall so many times. He's just, I, I, what do you do now? Because you can't create that wall forever, you know? He's clearly bursting through it over and over. Yeah, and it just goes back to what I talked about. You no know, Snake, I mean, I hate to sound like, you know, no no tinfoil hat, but I really think Snake is like top three in the game with the lead, okay? I mean, if piloted correctly, because there is a lot to Snake, you know, it, it isn't just tossing stuff out because Tony I know you've seen some fraudulent snakes in your day but yeah. the problem is like you know when he has that when he's in the deficit he has to kind of play a little fish out of water it's like yeah I want to set up shop but I also I have to go in I mean I am going to go in yeah. eventually but how much time do I really have to work with here yeah. 74 to 51 gonna land the back air is a little bit of play on that forward smash is gonna knock it way off to the side Ooh. Okay, nothing happening there. Uh oh, there's some oh, up God. smashes. I Boom. demand respect. <laughs> I mean, ooh, ooh, ooh. big scoop on that up to well done. 117 to zero here. Allen has uh, got quite a job worked out ahead of him, and it, it's not like Snake doesn't really have anything like Charizard back throw uh side b or like a like a neutral air flip kick from zero suit something to just shave your stock off instantly snake doesn't have that he's got a you've got to preheat a little bit and that's with grenades that's with like, explosions i don't know how you find your way out of this but he's got what to figure the? it out oh Whoa, a little talk crazy about the matrix jeez i've never seen movement like that i was for sure he was going to get up smash and then yeah what marvels are really good at like reading your tech options and i thought he was going to get the grab but in that case no nah. Throw. We're at 164 here. We're going to go all the way to the top. 
<laughs> corner, the boots. You got the weak hit. How do you get around this? Ah, you just roll in. Oh god! Okay, it's so scary! Ah! Back here does it. Okay. That was so scary there at the end. You can't survive forever. And unfortunately, the percent just got a little bit too high. Stronghold does it. Defeats Alendis. Sorry if I'm spoiling this for you. I don't know how I'm in the future. I don't know how I'm so far in the future. But, yeah. Uh, Stronghold won. Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the daylight savings. I'll just blame it on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like 15 minutes ahead or something like that, you know. Not quite an hour, but.